Uh, I said we street teaching and doing music to educate. All praise, I had this gift in second grade. Why I stay? They upgraded the murder from catching fades. Let's just say you niggas is weak in seven days. Cause how a nation come kidnap you and make you slaves. Then separate your children and parents. Change your names. No Damon Wayne's for generations was made to pain. And we kill each other, but when it's done, we don't say a thing. You niggas stripping. Well, in other words, y'all niggas Christian. Worship white Jesus when scriptures give his description. And shout out to my kindred that's really living what's written. Keeping laws that was given instead of willfully sinning. I love saying Christ coming back, cause it's with vengeance. All we gotta do is endure, like it's an entrance. Rehearse the righteous act, who spiritually is the scrimmage. And that real game start when the missiles pass the defenses. Let's get it, I'm chilling. It's scary, but it's thrilling. Never trust the opposition, they come near me, then I'm peeling. Like, aren't you glad we no longer killing and drug dealing? But instead, we out here healing, no more filling up them prisons. We almost at the ending, and now I don't care who like. Me. It's sore strokes for them folks, cause they scared to fight me And you in sin, cause you clutching on that hand tightly Calling on the Lord, you get ignored like scam lightly Step to the set, you getting checked like a pair of Nikes Sakari heavy, in these streets you better tread lightly And real Jews don't follow behind clones We just waking up the dead in the valley of dry bones all pray The spirit that we have, right, is light I like how you put that I like how you put so it. this is so this is why there's a fight because light and darkness right they're going um light and darkness can't just coexist light and dark. well i know all that uh -huh. i'm on the right i'm on the chakras and the third uh -huh. eye low frequency uh -huh. magnetic energy uh -huh. you know what i'm saying uh -huh. but, you know what i'm saying but my fight uh, I, me i don't fight i don't do right. all that uh -huh. I'm already tuned in. I'm not fighting nobody that's below. If I got a uh -huh. Lamborghini, what the fuck I'm gonna race the other cars for? Or they can screw themselves up, but I'm not fighting nothing that I'm already beat. I'm already in power. I get anything I want. I'm in power. So I don't have to argue with anybody. I ain't gotta tell anybody who I am. They already know I'm God by my swag, my energy, my spirit. Uh -huh. Alright, but so you brother, so you I are do that so time. you are definitely a God. Right, which means a power, right? We were created to be to be the rulers and to be the governors of the earth. Right? Do, would you agree with that? That we were created, we, the people on this sign right here, we were created to be the rulers, the governors of this earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And that's why And that's why it says that we are gods, brother. Right? Now go to Isaiah chapter two and I'm gonna show you now that what you said is making sense too, because you have to teach a, 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 a ruler right has to teach and also has to yeah, impose yeah, yeah, yeah. law yeah. and order in the society yeah you're right right so gotta hear that word. that's gotta hear it. that's proverbs men, you right know what I'm saying? Not by whip at, you know, absolutely you know about. Yeah, absolutely yeah. brother right go ahead read it second corinthians chapter 10, oh, 10, Come, yeah, chapter 10 verse 4 mm. for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal right so we're fighting brother we are fighting a war yeah, right yeah. but like you said it's well, spiritual right go ahead yeah but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Right, because what we're out here trying to do is we're trying to pull down the strongholds that these Western ideologies have on our people's minds. Right, these Western ideologies, this way of thinking that we were taught by America and Western Europe. You don't have to be in that dimension. Uh -huh. You don't have to be in a dimension. Right. They're going to come. You don't have to be uh -huh. in dimensions, too. You're uh -huh. jumping through dimensions. Right now, we on our dimension. Ain't nobody coming in, intervening, or interfering with us. I'm in my own dimension. I came over here. You know, we down here. I'm here. But ain't nobody going to interfere with our dimension. Brother. Right, but but what are when you say dimension? What what exactly do you mean by that, though, about, brother? Um, because those portals, those uh -huh. portals that right now y'all on the same five, boom, and I'm just jumping y'all portal, so we communicate. You talking? You talking about like quantum you're physics, not, brother? No, no, I'm talking uh -huh. about the, on the same tune. Uh huh. On, and, that's the and that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. So are, are right you now. talking about quantum yeah. physics, though? Because oh, quant yeah, quantum, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Similar to that. Quant it's similar to it. Right. Similar to Quantum it. physics is dealing yeah, with subatomic particles, yeah. right, and how everything is created through so energy I and vibration. That, some right. You can't something like you be preaching that y'all preaching and talking and something cats ain't waking up. You just going at the You, you said just, people are not waking some, up. Some of them not, um, some of them listen, I would I would agree to disagree years. because 
I've been out here doing this for a few years and from when I started up until now, the amount of people that are waking up that know who they are, the yeah. average black person, we could ask them walking down the street, you ever heard of the Israelites before? You know that we are the Israelites. The average person is now a 50-50. They might say yeah, they might say no. Whereas when we first started a couple years ago, most people did not know. So that means that we, what we're doing out here is actually making a difference. Right. Right. Yes, sir. right, because knowledge Right is the first step to growing, as they say. If you knew better, you would do better, right? Yeah, but uh, uh -huh. uh, right. Yes, that's a very valid point. Exactly, right? And I've been around. I'm 55. I've uh -huh. been around a long, long uh -huh. time. I've right. seen and heard it. I've uh -huh. I'm telling you. Right, but so you know if you've saying? been around and you've seen and you've heard it all, right? What have what have you actually seen being a uh, practice or observed that? Life that actually made a difference in people's lives, right? That actually changed brothers' lives around. We're really universe dollars and races, like God's workers. You know what I'm saying? Who you are, that's the first thing God is created first. Uh -huh. Dollars, studying and reading, and that's who you become. I'm saying I'm not uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm saying I'm not a, uh, I don't study what y'all study, but I know, you know what I'm saying? I'm still here. Right, well, you know that, <laughs> that you are a power that the Most High God created was, on this earth. When I was 18 and 20, I was fighting against the push on it, but now, now I'm good. I'm good. I ain't got to work for nothing. I already know that. They know I'm God. They know the energy right. comes. But, but brother, but, but you know, but all of our people don't know. Well, they got a right now they ain't waking up, so, uh -huh. kids, you know so if they're not waking up, if, if they choking on their own vomit, right, they're not waking up, right, ain't you supposed to try to grab them and shake them, like, yo, wake up, smack them, throw some water on them, you can't make them, no, you can't make them wake up, but you can do everything in your power to try to shake some sense into them, right, right, depends on the back of that, it depends, these cats ain't waking up. Well, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, we understand that more people are not going to get it than are going to get it. And that's okay, brother. That's all right. That's cool. Absolutely. What's going on with you, bro? The bro I was talking to last week. How you feeling, family? What's going on, brother? All praise to the most high. So do you, do you have any questions? No, I'm just admiring right now. This is uh -huh. a good word. All praise to the most high. All right. So now, right, I got a message for you, brother. Right. All right. So we're going to go back. Go back. Deuteronomy chapter 30, right? Read verse 15. Right, because the point is very simple, and the brother has a very valid point, right? The people that you see on this sign right here, the Bible says that we are gods, right? Go ahead, go ahead read it. All right, let's see the book of. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, and verse 6. I have said, You are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. Right. The people that you see on this sign right here, we are the children of the Most High God. We are the sons and daughters of God. Right, go ahead. Verse 7. But you shall die like men. For what? But you shall die like men. Right. But we understand that we are, right, in mere physical bodies which are, which are subject to decay and death. So when we say that we are gods, we're not saying that we are the creator, we are the most high, we are the almighty, we are the all powerful. We're not saying that because we don't believe that. What it means to be a god, even looking linguistically in the Hebrew language, right, the word god, Elohim or Allahayim is right, a power, a ruler, a judge, a governor. Right, the Most High God created us, the people on this sign right here, to be the rulers, the judges of this earth in righteousness, right? But everything has been flipped backwards, and now we see total chaos. Here, Job 9 to 24. Yeah, Proverbs 29 to 24. Yeah. Comes the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. <clears throat> The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right. We were created to be the gods, to be the rulers, the judges, the powers on this earth, right? But we fell, right, because we disobeyed the command that we were given from the Most High right. God, right. right? And now we are under the thumb of the devil, or the most wicked, right, the most base, profane people that there are, right? The Bible says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? Um, Get First Maccabees chapter one because we're going to see who these wicked people are because this is an actual race or a nation a group an ethnicity of people that is talking about when it says the wicked rule the earth go ahead all the way in the back first maccabees chapter one verse 10 
Alright, right, family. Right, right. It's the book, book of 1st Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 10. Okay, come. It's the book of 1st Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. Right, Alexander the Great, right? The first ruler of the Grecian Empire, the Greek Empire. It says he ruled 12 years and he died, or he ruled from 331 to 319 BC. Right, go ahead. Come, verse 8. And his servants bear rule every one in his place. Right. And then his homies, right, which you can read about this in secular history, they're referred to as the Diadochi, right? Their names are Cassander, Ptolemy, Seleucus, and Lysimachus. Alexander's four generals took his empire. Right, and they divided it in four. One took the west, one took the east, one took the north, one took the south. Right, go ahead. Come verse 10. Uh, so after verse 9. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. Right, and so did their sons, and their sons went to war with each other as well, which that's what history calls the wars of the Diadochi. Right, go ahead. And evils were multiplied in the earth. What happened when the white European Greeks came into power? And evils were multiplied in the earth. Right. When these Western European Greeks came into power, it says evils were multiplied in the earth. Right, go ahead. Gun, verse 10. And there came out of them a wicked root, Anto Antiochus. Antiochus, surname Epiphanes. Right, which Epiphanes means God manifest or God in the flesh. This son of Seleucus, one of Alexander's generals, his name was Antiochus, and then his title was Epiphanes or God in the flesh. Right, these are the people who think that they are the Most High God. We understand that we are gods, we are the rulers that the Most High God created. These people think that they are the Most High God, though. That's the difference between their spirit and our spirit. Right, go ahead. Gun, son of Antiochus the king, who had been in hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the hundred and third, thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. Right, right. So in any ways, that's just giving you a time frame that's telling you that it, this took place in the second century BC, right? The events with Antiochus Epiphanes, right? But in any case, the point was when the Greeks came into power, evils were multiplied in the earth, right? Um, give me Obadiah, where it talks about the Edomites being the border of wickedness. Go ahead. The book of Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, right. the people rejoice. Right, it says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, right? Back, let's say, during what they call the Dark Ages, right? Why do they call it the Dark Ages? Well, history would like you to believe that there were little to no technological advances that took place during that period of a thousand years. But that's actually not historically true. What happened is you had Negro rulers in the Roman Empire and in Europe during the period that's referred to as the dark ages so it's really the dark ages because you had dark-skinned people who were in rulership right the scriptures say that when the righteous are in authority right the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule when these dirty dusty greek europeans they're in rulership what happens but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn right what happens when the wicked bear rule the people mourn right the people mourn right everybody is in a perpetual state of mourning because we all we all fucked up right Right. We're the Israelites though, brother, right? We're not black and we're not Latino. We're not Native American, right? You're not a Negro, right? Not a Latino, no, none of that. What? Why is that funny? Y'all think that's funny? That, that's funny that we're not a Negro, right? So what's your nationality, sis? No, come here, let me talk to y'all real quick. Right, we're the Israelites, right? We're God's chosen children. You're not a Negro, a nigger, none of that, right? We are the children of the Most High God. Right, what happened? All right. All right, brother, we love you. said that so Oh, go ahead, read that. Absolutely. What's your nationality, brother? I'm going to come back and chop it up. Right, but you got to come to the real temple, brother, right, where the worship of the Lord is happening, brother. Right, this the, that's the temple right here, brother. This the temple where you need to be at right here, bro. Go ahead. Come. That's right. No, that's right. Come. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. 
but we will return and build the desolate places. Right. So you have a group of people biblically who are known as the Edomites. Right. You can track the lineage of the Edomites through their patrilineage, lineage, through their fathers, right, through the sons, and you will come to find that the rulers of the Greco-Roman Empire actually are the descendants of the biblical Edomites, the descendants of the man Esau, right? Go ahead. What does the Bible say about them? Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. Right. They will build, but the Most High God was going to throw down because they built up their empire, the Holy Roman Empire. They were deposed of. Black people took over the empire, and then they sought to rebuild it through the Renaissance. Right, which Renaissance is a French word that means what? Rebirth. The Renaissance was the rebirth of what? The ancient pagan Roman Empire, where these Greeks and these Romans ruled through wickedness in the earth. Right, go ahead. Con. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Right, what are the Edomites called? The border of wickedness. Right, the border of wickedness, the most wicked people. Go ahead. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Right, and what is indignation? Righteous anger. It says, this is the people that God is righteously angry against forever. Right, and why is that? Give me, um, now go to Obadiah, read verse 10. Right, because the Most High God has, has an anger with these people or an indignation with them for a specific reason. Go ahead, and it's because of what they did to us. Comes the book of Obadiah, verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Because what? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Right, these white people love to, oh, but we're all brothers. You're my brother, brother. Right, oh, but we're all brothers. But the Bible said because of your violence against your brother Jacob. What? Shame shall cover thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt be cut off forever. Uh -huh. In that day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captives, his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Right. Even thou wast one as one of them. Right. Even when we were beefing with other dark-skinned people groups in Africa, right? We were dealing, beefing with other Africans. These Western European crackers, they came and they cheered those other people, our enemies, on to destroy us, right? Because they have a perpetual hatred for us. And we understand that Africa is the most ethnically diverse place in the whole world, right? Go ahead. Okay. But... But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother and the day that he became a stranger. Right, yeah, exactly. We're brothers, right, but you shouldn't have looked upon the downfall of your brother and rejoiced because now there's a judgment for that. Gun, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of... And and the house of Esau for stubble, right? The people that you see on this sign right here are going to be like fire, right? And the Western European Caucasians are going to be like wood, right? What's going to happen? And they shall kindle in them and devour them. Uh -huh. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Right. For the Lord, for the Lord thy God, for the Lord hath spoken it. Right. Ain't that a beautiful thing, right? That it's, it's a promise in the Bible that there's one day where we're gonna live in a world where we don't have to deal with these Western Europeans anymore. Right. Right, isn't that, isn't that such a beautiful thing? Get Proverbs 29 and two, read again. God, this is the book of Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 29 and verse two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Right. When the righteous are in authority, right? When I Yeah, I hear what Pastor said, hating how these Christians talk. Thought I knew about everything. Had to forget what was taught. Now I'm trying to walk the walk. I'm the light, this valley dark. Tell me what's with all the bark. I forgot you was this dog. Always knew you was a fraud. Jesus wear the pale face, telling you that shit is off. Open up that revelation. Yeah, that book gon' tell it all. Expose that ass for what you are, devil. Gotta get up on this level, uh, cause you really beneath me Not sorry, I gotta tell you, uh, might as well get a shovel, uh Yeah, I'm trying to bury something, let me call my nigga Yacht Strip my way for what he got, can't wait till these niggas rot Cross that line, you might get dropped Yacht 1611, mob, he read that KJV Talking about you Muslim, you don't know what Allah mean I remember sinning, almost turned me to a beast Oh, I get why Esau mad, mad because we beat the streets Yeah, he just don't mean shit to me 
Yeah, uh, heathens don't mean shit to me, nigga. Yeah, heathens don't mean shit to me. But they talking about yacht, and heathens don't mean shit to me. Coon ass niggas talking about white people ain't just shit to me. Twitter fingers hating on the kids, they better not mention me. Blacks and whites ain't supposed to get along, that's how it's meant to be. Set up this whole system and they gave me all these felonies. Now I'm supposed to love these crackers, is that what you telling me? Hell no, shit I wanna do, man, I can't tell y'all. Listen to what these boys saying.